you're having a fabulous Monday. It is June the 17th and it's about 3 45 p.m. Central Standard Time. So thank you for being here. And if you're watching this as a replay, know that you go just below my face, click on that glare gear and you can change the speed to two times the speed to get through it faster. For those of you that are here live, thank you for being here. Of course, if you're watching the recorded, thank you for watching the recording. Do check out my Facebook group by Linda Israel and the Friendly Junk Journal people. It's a huge group that is all about like-minded, friendly people that love junk journals. The by Linda Israel is a smaller group. It's usually where I kind of post that I'm going live or I have a new product. I don't post a whole lot in there, but you're more than welcome to share your projects that you're working on. Keep the chat lively and upbeat and friendly today. And remember that we do have children that watch as well, so keep your language appropriate as well. And thank you for being here, I really appreciate it. Today we're gonna to be working with the Grandma's Garden. It's a digital download from Calico Collage. It's a brand new kit. She just released it on Friday, so I'm making a, a journal with it today. What else? While you're here, you do earn junk bucks, and those bucks will earn a coupon to my store. So you can check your bucks, and then once you get 2,000, you can type award and get a $10 off coupon, and I've already done several of those. You earn junk bucks by being here, by your donations, chatting, so, and of course there's also in-game that we call our in-chat game where you, I think it costs 10 junk bucks and you could win, who knows, it could be 10, could be zero, could be a hundred and something. I don't know. It just depends on what the randomizer wants to do. Right now I do have a raffle. So type exclamation point raffle to enter the raffle for 200 junk bucks. So that will get you well on your way to 2000 junk bucks. I want to say hi to everybody. So if I missed you, I apologize, but I saw that we have Barbara, Robin, Julie, and Faluk, hello, Kathy, Carrie Ann, Barbara, and let's see, Giovanna, and for the love of paper craft, and Connie again, and Sherry, and Tina, and Kathy, and Norella with Calco Collage, and Barb Dingwell, and Lisa, and Tina, and let's see, Kathy, did I miss anybody? Uh, Christina, if I didn't see your name, I'm sorry, Cynthia, and I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling, Manda. Nice to see you here, and Sandra, and Lisa. So thank you, thank you, thank you so very much here. Yay, 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 so glad to have you here. Um, so we already went over that. Um, the next kit, oh here, I've got two things to show you. The next kit will be Youthful Yellow. I've already done my nails. I got them done today, and they're 3D. I don't know if you can see that, but they're textured. So I got new nails today to go with the youthful yellow. That's what I will start next week on Monday, okay? And we will be making a junk journal using the subscription box. Here's one of the pages, or actually the cover of the subscription box that will be out. Man, that's next week. I gotta get busy. <laughs> So I really love the color. I love the work that Norella did. Um, if you didn't know, she also took one of my designs. I'll zoom in so you can see that. She took, oh, wrong, wrong way. Let's go this way. Um, she took my uh, sunflower and added some graphics to it and added some text and made a really beautiful t-shirt. So I want to thank her for doing that. As I knock everything off the desk here behind me. <laughs> um, yay! God, so glad to have you here, Marianne. So glad to have you here. Yeah, I'm loving the nails too. They're a lot of fun. Okay, so for the journal today, I'm going to do a one signature journal that I'll have, well, depending on the time that we spend, about 10, maybe 11 pages in it. 
I've left a couple of pledges blank. I've already fussy cut a bunch of items to the side. So what does that mean to you? If you want a chance to win the journal today, I would like to get donations. Let's start it at $50. And that doesn't mean one person has to donate that amount. It's any dollar amount that you want to do. But once we get to $50 in donations, I'll give away the journal at the end to those who donated. Also for donating, you also get a plethora of free digital downloads that I have at my shop. You also get a discount on your purchases through my shop. So you're getting more than just the ticket to possibly win the journal. You also get these other benefits as well. So I want you to do that. Oh, thank you, Julie. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm glad to help you. I'm glad. Yay. Hey, Regina. Yay. Isn't it awesome? Um, the yellow page is going to be the any the uh, monthly box that I've been doing for the rainbow. The uh, what we, did we call this? Um, creative rainbow. Linda's creative rainbow. This is the yellow, and these are all mixed media pages that I made. These are my sunflowers that I made, and then uh, Norella, I scanned them all in, sent them to her, and she digitally enhanced all of this. So thank you so much, Margie. Thank you. Thank you, Cynthia, for your donation. We're halfway there already, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so this is not a subscription box. It's a creative box, which means you won't get this automatically sent to you. If you are a subscriber, if you want this box, you'll have to go in and order it. Those ordering will start next Monday and they will ship out July the 15th. Okay. Is that clear? So thank you. Thank you, Sherry, for your donation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so let's kind of let's kind of get started here. Um, I'm going to start with this. So this is one of the elements that comes in Grandma's garden. It's a little fold-up piece that becomes an envelope. Okay. Um, in fact, you could get it to stay shut. You could do something like put across here one of these little doodads that comes in the kit, so you have a little thing. Or I may use a flower. So I'm going to look at the flowers and stuff that's in here. Oh, I have a little butterfly, although he doesn't match. So maybe we'll do this one. This is one of the fussy cut items that comes in the kit. And I think I'm going to put it right there. And then you'll have this little envelope that you can open up. I've already applied distress inks all the way around the edges. So all I'm going to do is glue this down. Oh, you like, you like my hair up? <laughs> I just put it up today. It was a, a little bit of a mess this morning. And I was in a hurry to go to the nail salon. So I didn't, you know, fix my hair, so to speak. I just went and I got there and they said, well, can you come back later? So I came back home and I didn't finish fixing my hair up. I just decided to leave it. <laughs> so thank you. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Robin, for your donation. Thank you very much. Okay, so that's just glued on there just to help hold that close. But when I was looking at this, I was like, oh, you know, this is a neat shape. You're already getting the digital download. So I took this piece and then I just traced it onto a piece of cardstock. And I thought it would be kind of fun to decorate that with y'all today. So I'm going to get a little scrap piece of paper here. And I've got a couple of stamps. So I think what I'm going to do is, let me look at these stamps. I think I'll do this. It'll be a bright pink. So this is part of the lace duo. Oh, thank you, Barbara, for your donation. Thank you. Yeah, join the raffle. Join the raffle if you haven't joined it. All right, so here's what I thought I would do. I'm going to take some Distress Oxide, and I'm going to ink it up on the Lace Duo. There's two pieces of lace, but I'm just going to do the one. So I'm just inking that up. And I think what I want to do is I'm going to turn this around so I can see it. So I'm going to stamp across the bottom here. So it's going to go across here and get the point and everything. So I'm trying to look at it. See how this looks. Oh, thank you, Norella, for sharing the other two uh, boxes. Yes, I still have the Radiant Red and the Outrageous Orange in my shop. 
Ooh, I like that. Do you like that? That's kind of pretty, isn't it? Just putting it across there. I think I'm going to stamp it again. Oh, I'm going to make a mess. Have ink everywhere. Oh, you got the steampunk today. Yay, Kathy, you're fussy cutting. I hope you all enjoy it. I had fun putting that kit together with Norella. Uh, I think it's going to be a lot of fun for y'all. I hope you'll share when you make stuff with it. Oh, I like that. I just kind of filled that in. Isn't that neat? So I hope you enjoy it. I hope you have fun with it. Okay, let's see. Do I want to keep going? I kind of feel like I want to do it again. I do. I'm going to do it again. All right, I'm going to, put, I'm going to stamp it here. There we go. I may go in here and kind of stamp over that so it fills it in just a little bit. I like it. I think it looks kind of cute like that. I'm going to hit it with my heat tool because it is the Distress Oxide. And it's usually a little bit wetter, stays wetter longer. In the state, the, the, isn't it pretty, that lace stamp? Look at that. Yeah, it's gorgeous, isn't it? It's part of two, a two-step set. A, a two-stamp set. I cannot get my words out today. <laughs> uh, isn't it pretty? All right, so I did that side. So if we're going to put this down here... I think that looks kind of good like that. It doesn't have to have a whole lot of uh, stuff on it. It's decorated on this side. So let's grab a little flower here. I've got this pinky one. I think that would be pretty, don't you? Right on there. So I'm just going to take this and glue it across the bottom. Oh, thank you, Carrie Ann, for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it, y'all. Um, I hope you're creating. I, I know Kathy said she's fussy cutting. Who else has received their kit and has started making stuff with them? You know, even in the old kits that you've had. I'd love to know. Yeah, it's Monday. I know. I just can't get it out. <laughs> thank you, Carrie Ann. Oh, thanks, Barbara. Have an awesome day. Thanks for stopping in. You like that? Glitter it. You want me to put some glitter on that? We can do that. Let's put some glitter on the flower. Yep, yeah, and I know Robin likes pink, so I'm going to use some of this tulip glitter paint. I know several of you have asked me about it. I just pick it up in the t-shirt decorating department at like Hobby Lobby or Michael's or Joann's. It's a couple of dollars. It's so much cheaper and I just like clear anyway than some of the other um, paint, paper painting products. I went in there and I just kind of swirled it around, but now I'm just taking a paintbrush to kind of smooth it out so it's not so bumpy. And it, to me, gives that vintage look. You know when you would get a greeting card that would have a little bit of glitter on it? Well, that's just what this reminds me of. I don't know if y'all can see that glitter. It's kind of hard in this light. You're eating a salad? I should probably eat a salad. I think I had one for lunch. Yes, that's what I had for lunch. I just don't remember, what did I eat for lunch? <laughs> um, I now have these um, little bags in the shop, and I thought I would decorate a couple of them. I cut, this is a the Garden Rose stamp, and then these are just little paper sacks, but y'all can make these too, you know. Kathy, thank you so much for your donation. I just take a book page. Let me grab one so I can just kind of show you a way to make that. Do I want to use that page? Or I use this? I've got some this color paper. All right, so you want to make a little sack in a sense. Mine's going to have a seam as this one has a seam in the back. So here's what I do is I take this and fold it over to where they overlap just a little bit. And depending on your journal, you may need to measure this to make sure that it's not wider than your journal page. So if I were to grab a piece of paper here, that isn't wider. You can kind of see it sticking out. So I'm going to fold down the side and I'm going to fold down this side. Okay. 
this is my back so I'm going to fold up the bottom that's going to seal off my envelope if I want it to have this look at the top up here what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this back yes you're going to have the fold mark but you'll have a guide that you can then use by opening it up taking your scissors and then stamp right there or stamp I wrote, looked up and saw the word stamp <laughs> cut here and here okay do the same on this side just cut it a diagonal cut off this piece okay we're gonna go down here and we're gonna cut off this piece because we don't need all that bulk in there and it just makes it light flatter. Hey, Mary, thank you for your donation. Thank you so much. And I'll cut this piece off. So you don't have to have a template to make one, okay? Are, we, are you with me now? So I'm going to take this piece and this piece and fold it in. And I did it backwards, but that's okay. I think y'all get the gist of it. Okay? And I'm going to put a little bit of glue right here in this area thank you Christy for your donation thank you so very much okay and then I'm going to fold that over onto itself and then here's what's important when you're doing this you want to make sure that you don't glue it to the inside of your envelope or pocket or whatever you want to make this into uh, if you glue it shut it's no fun <laughs> <laughs> hey Chrissy, so glad you're here. Hey left-handed crafter. Yay! Carrie I'm so glad you got your package from me. Woohoo! That's awesome. Have fun opening that up. Alright, so that should be pretty much where I know it's not gonna glue shut. And I'm gonna put some glue right across here and fold that up. Okay. And now I have a little bag that I made that's decorated. That's how you can make one of those, okay? Thank you, Lori, for your donation. Thank you very much. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I've got a piece of cardstock that I cut just slightly larger than the garden rose. And I thought it'd be kind of pretty to put it on the front of this bag. So I'm just going to glue this together. I'm going to make a pocket on top of the bag. How does that sound? Has everybody entered the raffle? Do you enter the raffle? You just made one of those last night, Christy? They're so easy. Yeah, it's a little bit of experience sometimes, Margie. <laughs> All right, I think, I think I'm going to make it to where it's a tuck spot. So I'm going to glue down two sides. Put a little glue on there. And then this can go right on the front of the sack. Okay. And then I thought, where did it go? I had, oh yeah, here it is. Is that too big? It might fit in there. Let's see what happens. If I had him on... Okay, if I put him on a journaling card, he'll fit in there. So I'm going to grab, let's grab some cardstock here. I think I've got one. That's too small. That's too small. I need something bigger, y'all. I got a piece of cardstock. Your stamps that you won, Julie, you're a little bit further away, I think. But I did mail out a whole bunch of stuff, so yeah, just use a book page. That's par that's perfect, Christy. All right, so here's what I need to do. I need to measure this sack. It is a, a just shy of four inches, and I think is that tall enough? It just barely comes out the top, so I'm gonna do it this way. I don't want it the full um, eight and a half inches tall, so I think I'm gonna cut off. Let's cut off two inches. 
And I think that would be enough. Nope, let's not cut off two inches. Let's cut off an inch and a half. I still wanted it to stick out the top of the bag. Okay, so that'll stick out the top. And we'll just save these pieces for something else. <laughs> I guess because Junkie Joe is the boss. It's kind of like saying, Mom, how come you get to say that? Because I'm the mom. <laughs> uh, Junkie Joe is special. That's right. But he does have typos every once in a while. So if you see one, report it to me so I can reprimand him. <laughs> Y'all do know that Junkie Joe is a computer program, and if something is misspelled, it's because I did it. <laughs> oh, the, 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 the vintage man stamp? Isn't he cool? I need to get one, too. I haven't put one... Uh, in my stash yet. I just put it in my shop. Okay. Do we want to do the purple on that? Or the pink on that? To go inside the bag. I think the pink would be pretty. Don't you? On there. So here's what I'm going to do. I'll pull this back out. I think I'm going to stamp the lace on top of this again. Because I just liked it. And I'm going to use a different one this time. So this was the first one we used earlier. And now I'm going to use this one. He has a wrench. He can talk if he wants to. That's right, Margie. <laughs> oh, dear. All right. So let's ink this up. It's a little bit uh, not long enough to go from top to bottom. But I can do it across the top and across the bottom. You like the kit? Yay, Carrie! I'm so glad! Yay! Tell everybody! Y'all, the kits are better in person even. I don't know how else to explain that. I know that, you know, a lot of people are like, well, you know, I don't want to buy a paper kit from somebody. I don't know what it's going to be like. They're really cool, y'all. I mean, <laughs> it, it's just, um, you know, Something I dreamed of doing. Norella had dreamed about having her stuff in print. And I was doing those um, bundles where I sat down and made a whole bunch of pieces for journals. And I would sell three, maybe four. Sometimes I had six if I spent some time. But they're time consuming. And so having the subscription box has really helped me have... A little bit more oh I like the lace um, you know to play with and I don't I don't know it's just fun because I get to try all kinds of new things yeah I le a lovely lace dye would be pretty yes I would agree with that Julie I, I think I may have one of the lace dies. Okay, I was just going to make this a tuck spot, but I decided I'm just going to glue it all the way down. And, you know, I'm showing you pretty simple techniques, I hope. Um, yes, I did use a rubber stamp, but, you know, you can use a pretty decorative piece of paper. You could buy a real piece of lace and put over that. You know, this is just trying to show you another way to expand the kit, to be able to have... And I didn't get that on there straight, so I'm going to have to cut it. I thought I did, <laughs> which is okay. See, it's okay. I mess up, and you just go on with it. It's no big deal. I've had so many messages from people who said, well, I just threw it away. And I was like, no, no, don't throw it away. Use it. <laughs> don't, don't be upset with it. Use it. All right, I'm looking for, where's my punch to make a tag? Do you see it? Does anybody see it? <laughs> Is it time for me to do a raffle? I guess I put it somewhere. I hate it when I clean up, y'all. 
Do you hate it when you clean up and you can't find something? That's what happens to me. All right, there is. Well, fine. I just won't do that then. I'll do something else. Okay, I'm going to take this piece. I'm going to fold it in half. Thank you, Christy, for your donation. Thank you so much. Me and my ramblings. <laughs> All right. Oh, uh, hey, Carrie. Well, I'm sorry you're having problems. You might um, check the volume on your uh, YouTube. Not in... Um, so right about in this area, somebody say that to her. There's a volume on YouTube, and maybe that's what the problem is, if it's not her phone. Thank you so much, Carrie, for your donation. Please tell her thank you. Yeah, I know. It's like, where did all that stuff go? I can't find anything. Where is it? <laughs> it happens. It's the way it is. All right, I'm going to stamp this again. Just so it's a little bit decorative, you're not covering up a lot of it because you still have more that you can write upon if you want. Oh, isn't that cute? I love it. It's so cute. <laughs> I'm easily pleased and entertained. All right, what's Henry doing now? Oh, we made the, the journal goal. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so from now on... If you donate, you get a chance to win the journal. We've met enough. We are going to give it away at the end. So, yay. It is really pretty, Regina. I love how bright it is. I really used it because it was a large pink ink pad, and that was handy. <laughs> I am all about convenience, y'all. If it's nearby, that's what I'm going to use. I couldn't find the tag punch. I'll find it when I get off here. So I just decided, well, I'll fold this over in half. I'll stamp it with the lace. It looks real. It looks like it should be real lace. I wonder what it would look like uh, maybe embossed. So look at that. So we just added a little bit there. So I think what I'm going to do is I've got, I got a couple of book pages out. So this is a book page that I started decorating. Um, if you got the daydreaming kit from me, you got three of these pages in the daydreaming kit. And I thought what I would do is put pockets over here. And why not put this little bag right on the inside? Do you like that? So I'm just going to glue this down. Because it's really kind of fragile, I'm not going to make it a pocket behind. Um... Yeah, I guess I take that back. What I'll do is I'm going to glue down two sides. So if you had another piece of paper that was just a little bit bigger, it could fit behind this way. So we'll do that. Sometimes I do that. I don't know. It just kind of depends upon how I think I'm going to use the journal. Um, most of y'all know that I, I don't like to put a lot of bulky things in journals because they're difficult to write over. And I like writing in the journal. I don't get to write in them very often because I hardly get to keep one, but <laughs> uh, I do like writing in them, and I like writing in them when they're flat and you're able to put stuff on there. Yeah, Nana's life slip showing. How dare she so scandalous? Oh my goodness, Grandma. <laughs> oh, I think... Let's just put a pink of pa piece of paper over there. Oh, and I've got a little scrap of gel print. What else? Oh, I've got I've got some of this. So this is just notebook paper. So basically, I'm just going to fill in that page. Okay. Um, are we ready to do the Robin? Or are we ready to do the? Have I been on very long? <laughs> I feel like I've been here forever. <laughs> oh, Robin earned a coupon code. I just saw that. Robin, you better be taking notes because I think I'm a little frazzled today. All right, where's my pen? I want, there it is. Okay. <laughs> I see that, Robin. I owe her a $10 coupon. 
coupon. Today is 6, 17, 19. You saw how easy that was, right? And this is Grand Ma's Journal. Go, garden. Okay. Yay, thank you, Robin. I see that, yay. Make sure that y'all check out this. Uh... <laughs> thank you so much, Robin. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna distress this really fast well good robin you'll have to let me know what you want because um i'm gonna i got a box for you and i'll put it in there so let me know what you want all right all i'm doing is i'm kind of looking at this and i'm gonna trim this piece it's just randomness but i think what i'm gonna do to make it kind of match is we're gonna put some tattered angels I like the way this page underneath looks. All right, so I'm gonna put this right about here. I'm gonna put that right above it, okay? Let's get, oh, I think Feeding Frenzy is really my favorite stencil right now. I also like the Connected Gears. That was a lot of fun to use that. Um, I'm trying to think what else. An open lattice. Open lattice is a lot of fun. I enjoy using that one too. I'm going to use this as a kind of a pale pinky peach color. And let's do that. I'm spraying the whole thing because then I can use it as a mop-up page as well. So I'm going to grab a piece of just copy paper. You could grab a book page. Um, notebook paper. In fact, I should do that because I have some notebook paper here. So this is just a composition notebook that I cut down. Hey, Christy, thank you for your donation. Thank you so much. Um, I'll just take those and trim them and then I'll lay it on top of the stencil and it'll pick up that paint or tattered angels. Um, you know, there are alternatives. Yes, you don't have to have tattered angels to get color. Get your spray bottle. You can do things like add food coloring, add coffee, um, add tea if you want, and test things out. Have fun with it. All right, so let's take this. Thank you, Amanda, for your donation. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so I already put distressed ink around those pieces. And we've got another piece of paper down here. Okay, so I'm going to dry this just a moment. I'm two journals ahead of you. <laughs> okay, thank you, Robin. It is raffle time. Okay, good. Oh, Giovanna had a coupon too? I see that. Okay, let me write Giovanna down. Yay, Giovanna. All right, thank you. I'm so glad that you've been here. Love to get one. You like doing the mop-up pages? They're fun. You're very welcome. I do it all the time. And there's we actually got more out of that. So this page was in the box. So we have the void where this was and where this was. And then you have this side painted. So now, because I did these pieces... This was the bottom. That was the mop-up. I have three ways to decorate something. So that's why I like doing it. All right, so let's do the giveaway. I'm just rambling today, y'all. <laughs> something got into me. <laughs> they got me chatting at the uh, nail salon, too. It's kind of funny. The, there's a guy that does my nails. It's funny because when I come in, his wife, it goes, Linda, how are you today? What do you want? I said, nails, because they're a nail salon, so it's either my hands or my feet. <laughs> there's not much else. <laughs> and they always laugh. And I go, my fingers like this. And she goes, okay, what do you got today? And I took her a picture. And she goes, oh, that's going to be for Jimmy. He's going to do 3D. They'd already decided. I didn't even show them 3D. I just said I wanted sunflowers. She said, but you need to come back in two hours. You come back in two hours. 
so I had to leave and then when I came back I got to spend some time with the creator the artiste Jimmy uh, as he created this and so I got to ask him some questions it's just kind of fun we start chatting and it's good to get to know people you know all right let's uh close the giveaway and pick a winner for the 200 junk bucks because I've been rambling and Kathy Lake you are the winner Kathy you got 200 junk bucks I'll give you those when I get off the uh, video today let me look at my let me look at my goodie bag. Are you ready? <laughs> see, I, I've got a Brom sack here. And can y'all see there's goodies in there? Lots of goodies. Okay, so I'm gonna do, let's do this one today because it kind of matches. Um, one of the vendors when I went to Creativation gave me a bunch of stock so that I could use it as giveaways and I found that box today <laughs> so I was like I need to give some of this stuff away I made it to 10,000 subscribers because y'all are fabulous people and I'm so grateful for you so you're going to enter the raffle here in just a moment and this is for some six colors of I don't know how many 42 page pieces maybe and there's five by seven envelopes so there's white five by sevens and then you get a variety of different colors of cards that you can use in your journals you're very welcome kathy congratulations um so yeah we're gonna do these pink cards pink cards open giveaway so y'all enter the raffle enter the raffle goodies yeah so i'm trying to find some more goodies for y'all and I have a couple of my fans and followers who have said that they are mailing me some stuff. And I believe, I don't know if Ka uh, Carrie can hear me. Can you hear me, pa ca uh, Carrie? We'll do your giveaway here in just a couple of minutes. When I After this raffle, Carrie, we'll do your raffle. So you can tell me that you hear me in the uh, chat, okay? goodies join the raffle all right so here's what i do now i'm kind of looking at this and i've changed my mind yeah i think i want this at the top and then this is going to be down here on the bottom so i'm just going to trim it let's trim it the same width as this one just so you kind of have some symmetry on your page and this is why you don't throw away scraps y'all you just leave them on your desk I'll put a little distress ink on this piece. Hi, Chronic Crafter. I'm trying to watch to see if I get everybody. Okay, thank you, Robin, for saying that in case Carrie can't hear me. Because after this one, if she wants to still do that, we can go there. Oh, yay! I'm glad, Carrie. <laughs> awesome. Hi, Carla. Welcome, welcome. So right now, I'm just taking a book page that I have embellished a little paper sack that's over on my right. And then these are those tear-off sheets. And I heard, Christy, you said you got all the colors now. I went back to my uh, Dollar General and I bought all they had, meaning one of each color um, of all the colors that they have. So I have extras now. So I'm saving those for when uh, I have somebody that says they want some and they can't get them anywhere. And then if I run out. <laughs> all right. Hello, Ada! Welcome! Yay! All right. Okay, so that's this side, and I haven't even... Let's stamp on here. I've got, um, let your spirit soar. Let me find my... Where is it? Okay, got it. Let's stamp that. I think that would look good right here. Yeah? Oh, that's kind of going downhill, but that's okay. Do we want some shabby stitches? Um, the papers from the dollar store, dollar tree here, you get these. By the way, y'all, did you know that you can order from Dollar Tree? 
you don't have to actually go to the physical store. If you you go to their website, and I think you need the UPC code or the item number, and I can't read it right now because my eyes can't focus on that tiny of a thing. Um, but you can go in there, and I think they come assorted. I don't know how many they come together, but you can order them direct from DollarTree.com. All right. Hey, Valerie. So glad you're here. Okay, I think I'm going to put... I've got the zigzag stitch. So I'm gonna, I don't know. Building these little pages like this, I just have so much fun with it, y'all. I don't know about, about you if you like, you know, uh, finding those random bits that you can put onto a page and then do something like stamp on it like that. And it changes it from, well, that was a piece of trash. That was a scrap. This was a Dollar Tree thing. And then that's the book page. And then this is, I showed y'all oh, an alternative of how to make your own little envelope um, using the stamp and adding some of the Calico Collage. Yeah, I you know I wondered if the Aline's maybe it just goes bad, Christy. I don't know. I've had to put water in mine. Oh, thank you, Faluke. Thank you, Margie. Oh, I think that looks cute right there. Doesn't that look cute sticking out there? All right, let's see what else we got here. Let's decorate this. Let's add that on there. Add some color from the kit. You have to order a case at a time, which is fine. You know, if, if I was going to be doing it, wanting a bunch of them to have, I would order a case. Usually I just go get whatever I see if they have them on the shelf. Because sometimes they don't even have them on the shelf. All right, so we got something there. Let's put a little something here. Oh, and I took, um, I took the tags. I, for some reason, I just don't like the long tags. I don't like them sticking out of the journal at the top. They bug me. <laughs> so I like them just a little bit shorter. So what I did was I folded it up to where there's a little bit of a gap up here. And then fold this down. And then find a, an element from the kit. Whatever it may be. Could be, let's do this tag. I think that would look kind of cute on there. And then you can close this and it has like a hidden note. It looks like a little envelope, but it really isn't. It was a tag. It had a former life. <laughs> hey, Mariana, so glad to see you. You want your box, Christy? Hopefully it'll show up. That's true. Sometimes you don't need the case, but a few items. It depends on the item, exactly. All right, so I'm going to put this one in here. So, okay, now we've got this page that we put together. We started a page here by spraying it with Tattered Angels. And what I like to do is go ahead and spray the backside a couple of times. And it puts a little bit of shimmer on both sides. But you only had to spray it really once to get the decoration. All right, so there's a page. Let's decorate this page a little bit. Um, I saw a pocket piece. Those are those. I moved stuff to show y'all things. There it is. I found it. I found it. Okay. I got this piece ready. I think it's dry now. Where'd it go? Yeah, um, if I'll tell y'all this, that if you are watching one of my videos and you are done watching the video, before you leave YouTube, go somewhere else on a video and then leave YouTube. Because if you leave right after watching one of my videos, then... YouTube dings my account and won't let my video come up in your newsfeed the next time. 
it's weird I don't know why all right so I found one of the corner pieces I'm gonna put it on this side of this book page um, I think I've explained this but I use a composition notebook I found that if I got the full composition notebooks that I could open them up to the center and cut out the stitches that keep the pages together and then you can pull out a full page with the lines going this way and trim it down to fit your journal easy breezy huh okay I think I've got this stamp that I've been itching to use it is called Toporary Large and I think that would look really cute right there. So I'm going to stamp this. Move out of the way. Norella pointed out that that stamp would look so pretty with this kit. So I was like, okay, I got to get it out. So I thought I would stamp it right here. Oh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that gorgeous? I do too. I love it. That's really pretty. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I don't want to put too much color on here that it bleeds through to the other side, but I want to add some color. I can do it a couple different ways. I could use Tattered Angels, uh, get a little sponge and dip it in it. Um, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just do a direct-to-paper technique. That's where you just kind of pounce the blending tool right over your image and it just kind of gives it that airbrush effect and it doesn't really soak through to the other side when you do that now the ink did from the stamp part but this part didn't you like that you do that with the little notebooks too christy all right so let's see what we can put on this side. Oh, I have the word journal here. Let's uh let's stamp that. I don't know, I'm kind of stuck on this because it's so easy to stamp the word journal. So, you know, it's okay to keep using the same stamp in your journals. You can repeat them. A lot of people ask me about, you know, buying supplies. And when do you stop? And I said, well, you know, part of it's going to be your budget, the space that you have to store it, and how you use things. And I'll tell you, you know, Distress Ink Pad, that's a good investment. Aline's Tacky Glue, good investment. Uh, a paper cutter, a good paper cutter, and a good pair of scissors, good investments. And then you start buying the things you know you can use over and over again. The word journal, you're probably going to use a lot. Um, so pick one that you really like. That's a good investment. Now, if it's something that says it's spring to it or whatever, well, maybe that's not a good investment unless you want every journal to have spring to it. <laughs> <laughs> you know so you know it just kind of do your thing don't think you have to have every latest and greatest and have fun with the things you do have bye norella <laughs> what does that word mean margie says <laughs> correct left-handed crafter yeah sometimes it's really cheap so you know save your money buy the things you know you'll use over and over like the stencils that's a good investment to me because i love instantly how i took a plain piece of paper and turned it into that okay and and i can change it any color i want um, the next time i do it so i'm not just stuck with that color of scrapbook paper per se all right let's decorate this side i think let's put the lace We'll do this pinky lace again. Alrighty, I'm going to just put the lace across the top here. Oh, isn't that pretty? 
I like it. And it doesn't need much else. You know, you don't have to go crazy overboard on decorating your pages. But I think I want something over here now. So let me look at it. Let's find, I've got a couple of these little page flags. I saw another one, here it is. Let's put these on here. They're a different color. So they'll kind of stick out just a little bit. Oh, okay. What did what did I miss for Rita? Do I need to do another um junk box? So congratulations if that's what you did. Okay, for your coupon. Okay, thank you, Rita. Congratulations on your junk box coupon. If I don't, those of you that um, have redeemed your coupon, if I don't get it to you by tomorrow, message me. You can message me through the contact me on my web page and then also check your spam folder in your email for an email from this address i'm going to tell you which is email me at lindaisrael.com because i'm a small shop um a lot of email providers um think my email is spam so i think now i want to put something here I want that. I think the butterfly. Uh oh, there was a bunch of people that joined that boss fight. Thank you so much, Kim, for your donation. Thank you so very much. All righty, I'm gonna put this here. So now I've showed you two different page styles, right? Okay. All right, so let me write down Rita, right? Rita! That's three coupons today, y'all. Y'all's gonna be shopping, having some fun. All right, I think this is dry enough that I could put that guy in there. Oh, I like that. Isn't that neat? I like it. I hope you do. I hope you do. Okay, we'll put that in there. Okay. So, I've got two more of these pages. And I've got this page. <laughs> okay, thank you, Robin. Perfect. That'll me that'll help me a lot thank you <laughs> I guess he didn't want you to play Sandra thank you Mariana for your donation thank you thank you okay oh, I made this one earlier I'll show you this one put that in there. this is um another book page so it's a page this size, a book page, okay? And then I took another book page and folded it over. And then I folded down the edges so this would be neat. And it's a pocket that is on both sides. And I used that lace stamp. I stamped it this one, this one, and flipped it over this one and this one so it looks continuous but it isn't continuous i just got really lucky how close i was at stamping it and i thought that turned out really cute yes this is a calico collage kit this is grandma's garden here's another one of the images from the kit and i think i'm going to put it on this side of the page She is amazing, isn't she, uh, Carrie? Robin is outstanding, y'all. If you ever get a chance to uh, correspond with Robin, you tell her how much um, we appreciate what she does. She does some awesome work for us inside the Friendly Journal People Facebook group. She volunteers to come here to help me. I greatly appreciate it. Um, so, yeah, if you have a chance to thank her, please do send her a note. 
tell her how much we love her and, and thank her for helping me out because it really does help me. It does. Okay, let's get let's get a larger card to put in here. Let's see if that's too far. It's kind of tight, but it can go in there. So let's stamp that lace. I'm stuck on that lace, y'all. <laughs> let's stamp the lace again. Let's stamp the lace again. Um, yeah. Let's do this one. Yeah. Thank you, Julie. Thank you, Mariana. Yeah, she does move fast. Yes, we love her. Did y'all know that the Friendly Junk Journal people has been a group for two years? And we are just 300 shy of having 20,000 members. I can't imagine how I got here. And it's because of wonderful people like you my followers, my friends. I hope that, you know, you're you're learning some new techniques. Ooh, that looks interesting on top of the uh, craft. I hope you're learning stuff, you're making friends, and you're creating. Use the stuff you've got to create. And I think that's what I'm going to do. Uh, this week I'm going to be working on a challenge. I'm going to make a challenge for you to make something. I don't care what it is. It's going to be relatively simple. Uh, if you make a something, then you can be entered in to win and we'll have a, a prize that we'll give away. I'll have multiple prizes, not just one. And it doesn't merit, you know, how good it is. It's just something. And then I'm going to have additional entries that if you make a tag, if you use a rubber stamp, if you um, use one of my products, every, one of these will give you an additional ticket into the drawing. So if you keep showing me stuff that you make, the more tickets you get into the drawing and we'll do a drawing. So I'll be working on that. So I'll get the rules all written up and I'll just share them with y'all next week, okay? I like the pink on there. Let's see here. It's kind of neon, isn't it? Behind there. But I think it's kind of neat. So let's add some distress ink to this. And we'll continue making pages. Exclamation point bucks. You can make a mess. If you can show me a photograph of it, Margie. Show me a, a photograph of you making the mess. Not just the mess. I kind of have to have, you know, who's in the picture. <laughs> Alright, I think that'll be cute there. And let's put another little card there. And I think I'm going to go ahead and stamp this. Oh, here it is. Um, be Beauty is soul deep. Let's stamp that right here. How's that? Beauty is soul deep. That's on the inside. So let's put something over here. I've got another one of these bags. Do I want to cover up that or not? I think let's do something different. Let's just put this piece down the side. But I'm going to take the flower stamp here. I'm going to ink it up partially. And we're going to stamp over the edge a few times. Just adding a little bit of texture around the edges. And then we'll put this little butterfly strip down the side here. Yay! The core group. Yep, that's right, Carrie. You've been with us for a long time. Oh, thank you so much. You know, I try to make it easy for everybody. You know, we just want to have fun. And I basically, I told Robin, if you want to do swaps, you can do the swaps. I don't care, but I'm not doing them. <laughs> I'm not running that part. <laughs> so if y'all want to do it, more power to you. <laughs> 
Uh, but I'll, I'll make the hard decisions when we have to. You know, someone breaks a rule repeatedly. They're not paying attention. It's upsetting people. Well, you know, I got to be bad mama bear. <laughs> and go, okay, sorry. You can't come in no more. You can't play nice. And I made some pockets earlier um, using a, some mixed media pages that I made during the junk, virtual junk journal camp retreat. Um, that was a lot of fun. I didn't get to go to all of the events because I'm busy and it was long. It was 12 days long. I did try to go to several that I could. But we made this in one of those events. And so I thought I would show, okay, I took the book page that was painted and I trimmed a piece of cardstock. I have a stack of black cardstock and it's neat, but you can't really journal on the back of it unless you use a white pen. So I've been using it for pockets. So let's put that pocket down here. Yes, that's right. I delegate. <laughs> You want the lay stamp? No, I haven't sent yours, Carrie, because your order came in for the stamps just before my gal that uh, makes the stamps has got home. She was out of town. So I've got a couple of people whose stamp orders are part of the subscription box and may not have been shipped yet. So yeah, I can do that. Not a problem. Yeah, I'll play nice or take my bongo home. Exactly. <laughs> I got enough to do. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Ada, for your donation. Thank you so much. Okay, I think I've got this. See, I like the yellow popping out. So let's put, I stamped that. So we'll put that right there. So you get a little bit of yellow. This is um, Summer Flower, and I have this as a digital download with, I think it's the Gelato uh, download, uh, where I painted these with Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist, and then I scanned them into my computer, and I can print them over and over and over, and I don't have to hang color them every time. I've got something that I made, it's my art, because I colored it myself I picked those colors and the only way to be able to replicate this is just to copy it um, beeline designs allows you to photocopy your stamped images you know, if you hand stamp it you color it then you can scan that in and you can use it over and over all right let's do something over here okay I'm afraid I have it upside down which, what does it say? Okay, I can't read that for some reason. Does that say annuals? Is this the right side up? <laughs> you like that, Cynthia? Thank you. You like that? Just bright colors. It's okay to mix it up. All right, is this right side up? Can anybody tell me? No, it is a stamp. This flower is a stamp. It's called Summer Bloom. Just put summer in and you'll get it. All right. Yeah, okay, that's right side up. <laughs> I think we'll put it right there in the middle. Enter the raffle. You like it? You can't see it? I couldn't either, so I think it's right side up. <laughs> Alright, so there's another page we've made. So let's see what I have left here. I've got two more of these. I have another one of those. So 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We'll do 13 pages if you want me to continue doing this. Are we good? You can't read it? Yeah. <laughs> I can't read it either. So, no one can read it. If it's upside down, it's not my fault. <laughs> not my fault, y'all. <laughs> oh, my goodness. 
Yes, I have grouped all the flowers together. So you can just search and get one flower, and then you can look for the flower um, menu at the top. All right, so let's do these two pages. Oh, and I like that page too. Look at that page. That's a mop-up paper. We'll save that. I don't have to go in my mop-up drawer. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay out a notebook paper. Okay, thank you. All right, we're going to do the raffle now. If y'all haven't done that, I'm going to get a drink of water here. All right, I'm going to... Um, we're going to do the raffle. Let me pick a different stencil. Oh, I love this stencil. I don't know. This is also one of my favorites. This one is called Woven Boxes. Enter the raffle. Um, hang on. I get it for you. I get it. I get it. All right. So we're going to go here. Stamp. Flowers. Copy that. All right, so this link will take you to the flower category in my website. And this link is for the summer bloom right there. Okay. All righty. So the first link was for the, all the flower stamps. The other link is for the summer bloom. So there, I fixed it. All right, we're going to do the raffle. Where's my notepad? And my pen. All righty, we're going to do the giveaway. So this is for the pink paper cards. All right. And then Carrie, are you ready to do your raffle? Christy Karma is the winner. And uh, you got the pink stuff. Christy, message me on your preferred whatever so I know your address. Because I can't remember your last name at the moment. And if I do a search in my shop for Christy, I'm sure I'm going to get a bunch. <laughs> All right. Um, so, I believe Carrie is ready. So, Carrie has a little goodie. She's going to ship out to whoever wins this next um, raffle. So we're going to go into the giveaway. And yay! Congratulations, Christy! Okay, we're going to reset. And we're going to say, um, carry... Uh, Paper puddles gift. All right, so there's where we're at. So that's that's you, uh, Carrie. That's you, Carrie. Carrie's so gracious to give something. That's what I was gonna. I was trying to say earlier that um, I have a couple of people who said they wanted to give a prize. So if you have something that you want to send to somebody, then um, let me know. Um, it is i believe it was some vintage things that she had found it was like a i can picture it now it's floral it's pretty it was a package <laughs> I remember now <laughs> anyhow you'll like it mariana just enter <laughs> It's a surprise. We're going to call it surprise. So, if if you're a, a follower of mine and you want to be able to uh, send a prize to someone, let me know and I'll be glad to coordinate with you to uh, get a prize sent out. Okay, where's the color that I want? There it is. Okay. So here's what I've got. I've got the punked out steam colors and I'm spraying those into the box through a stencil. I'm alternating some of the colors. I've done the blue, I've done the yellow and the green, 
and I'm making sure this is in the kit. I'm using the turquoise color, which is almost empty, so I'm going to have to get some more. I have Tattered Angels now in my shop. Um, if there's a favorite color that you want, that you want to be able to get through my shop, just let me know. And the next time I place my order, I will pick some up for you in my shop. I did get my new order in, and so I'll be mailing out some Tattered Angels, the people that ordered. And I just sprayed the back of that. And then this is what the mop-up page looks like. Isn't that cool? Okay, Carrie, great! And then here's that page. What do you think of that? I just love the color. All right, so I'm going to spray the back of this one just a little bit. And then I'll take this away. And let's dry these pages. Yeah, lots of tattered angels. I've got a lot that I'm picking up. Part of it is because I pick up the colors that I love. <laughs> Thank you, Chronic Crafter. You used the Royal Green Grimmer Mist yesterday? Yeah, you know, uh, Julie, someone else said that they leaked a lot too. And I don't know if it was just a bad batch of sprayers. I don't know why. Or if it was because the liquid is so thick on that one and that's why. Um... If you'll message me through my webpage so I will have that note, I can uh, see if I can't get you a new spray cap. Yeah, sometimes you have to take the caps off and push the stems in tighter. Um, let me see if I've got one that's empty. Okay. So sometimes you have to take this apart because this part isn't on all the way and so it's that's what's leaking everywhere so if you take it completely apart clean it and then put it back together and see if that doesn't work better yes i do i have one it's called curious and this one's empty that's the color right there it's called curious that's the color Curious, I have that in my shop now. <clears throat> and I have some replacement sprayers now. I just need you to message me so I can get them sent out to you. Okay. Yeah, at a Tuesday morning, they must have had a bad batch of sprayers. That's what I'm thinking. All right, so let's decorate these pages. So I've got more, what else do we have? We did these colors. Alrighty, I think, oh yeah, that's what I was going to use. Where'd it go? I got this guy out. Now my nose itches. Alright, so I've got... I don't remember if this is the childhood one. It's the one with the hydrangea. And I thought it would look kind of neat stamped on the bottom of the page here. Yeah. Like that on the page. So you have the fading above and then you've got that at the bottom. Yeah? Painting painting with the Tattered Angels is a lot of fun. I enjoy doing that. Yeah, you got to keep them clean. You're very welcome, Sandra. Okay, so let's see here. Oh, I've got this little pocket that comes in the kit. This is one of the digital downloads. I almost don't want to cover up the back because it's so pretty, but I'm going to glue that down here in the corner. 
<laughs> yeah, I understand that. I don't hardly go to Tuesday morning anymore. I just decided, you know, I'm only going to go when I know I need something, not just because I'm bored. <laughs> Because I spend too much money on things I really don't need. Yeah, they sell out fast. Yeah, you can always send things, Kim. Yes. The green was in the Royal Peacock, Christy. There was a green. There's a bit of green in every kit. But not in the on the add-on kits. Okay, so that's gonna go there. And let's put da, da, da. maybe we'll put this guy up here. Just kind of a neat little I'll put him at the bottom. Yeah. I'm not feeling it. Oh, I know what we need to do. We need to stand behind it. That's what we need. It needs something else. And um, here we go. Oh, I can't make up my mind. Oh my goodness. Okay, I think it's I think it's this one. I think this is the one. I think this is the one we want. It's the brick wall. And I haven't used it yet, but I've been wanting to. So I think I'm going to stamp that up here. And then we can put this butterfly over that. What do you think? Kind of cool? I think we need to do it one more time. There. I just inked up the bottom part so that I could get more bricks below there. And then we're going to put that right here. You like to shop online and not go out? I, you know, sometimes I do too. I just like looking at stuff. I think that looks cute. Do you like it? It's too big for those. I don't go to those big malls anymore. All right, let's put something over here. Well, let's put that. Bulbs, plants. Alrighty. I think I've got one more page here. Yeah? Okay, I've got two I've got two more we can decorate. So how are we doing on time? One, two, three, four. Okay, I'm kind of looking at the pages we've done so far. So I've got one, two, this is going to go in there, three, four, five, and then six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You know, really, that's enough. All right, so I'm going to decorate um, this page here. We're going to do the next drawing here in a moment. And um, then we'll start the drawing for the journal because there's really not a whole lot left for me to do, I don't think. It depends on how I do this. So I'm going to decorate this page over here. I've got still some fussy cut items, some elements, and even some pockets I need to put in so let's do some of that I think that would look kind of neat as a pocket on that page so I'm just going to add this across the bottom here you see that okay I'm so glad you are here so glad to have all of you a part of this clan of happy people that like to get together and talk about art and crafts and whatnot. It's an amazing world we live in. And we have to live each moment. 
right? Live each moment. All right, and I got out this guy. He is a little greenery, and I thought it might be kind of neat to stamp him over the corner here, maybe? I don't know. Um, let me grab some green. Ah, I think I want this green. I think this was a, what is this? Forest moss. Forest moss. You like that with the water droplets? That's, that's what happens when your Tattered Angels gets messy and it drips. It's okay. Sure, it stains your fingers for a little while, but that's the price of beautiful art, y'all. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to stamp this a couple of times. So when you get your second stamping, you get a little lighter. So I'm going to stamp it again. I'm going to stamp lower, and then I'll stamp it again, and you get lighter. So it's, it's a neat way to get more for your buck, if you will, because you just stamp it twice. Okay? Sorry about that. Exactly! That, that was for spraying with the Tattered Angels, and the droplets appear on the other side because of the concentration of color. All right. So let's put... We need another pocket, so I've got one. So I'm going to use this as a pocket over here. And I just realized that my paper is upside down, but oh well. <laughs> it happens. I'll put it right here. And then this is going to go in that pocket, so I'm going to just lay it there. That was the Tattered Angels. So this is, um, that's the Woven Boxes stencil, okay? And when the Tattered Angels, the one color is really low, the little teal color, and it was dripping. So where it puddled, paper puddles, this is where it puddled. And when you flip that over, that's how you get that concentration of color coming through the other side. Okay. I'm glad you're back. Junkie Joe is still playing with the journal he made at the retreat. Oh, that's awesome, Margie. <laughs> Oh, exactly. They won't mind. It's got sprinkles on it. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, that's going to go there. I stamped there. Let's put... <clears throat> oh, that's kind of pretty. I want a little bit more to go with this, so let's stamp. Oh, here we go. Where is that? This is a damask background stamp. And I think if I do this right, it'll have this vintagey kind of mottled look. Because I didn't ink it all the way. Okay, that's cool. So you kind of get that mottled look because I didn't really ink it and press it perfectly. And then look how that looks behind that little piece. You could also add a book page. So I've got some book pages here. Do I have one big enough? And then if we add some distress ink on this. I think this piece of paper has clear gesso on it. It feels like sandpaper. <laughs> <laughs> Scraps are fair game, y'all. All right, so now let's put some on this one. 
Yes, this fern stamp is in the store. It is, it is. I think it's called fern. I like the damask. Okay, so if I put this on here, I could kind of scrunch this up a little bit. So it looks like it's just a wadded piece of paper. Oh yeah, I like that better. You see that? So now let's glue it down. Glue it down, glue it down. We're going to glue it down. I didn't have a song for y'all today, so I just made that one up. Hope you like it. <laughs> what I need to do is I need to get me some headphones so I can listen to music while I talk to y'all and then I'll sing, but I won't have the music in the screen, you know, in the, in the video. <laughs> Yeah, it does look like little pieces of shiny water. Yeah, it's kind of cool, though. It's not under fern. Oh, I know it's there, though. Maybe it was called... Um... Okay, we go back to flower stamps. It's set on most popular. I know I have, like, three pages. Okay, let's go back this way. Maybe it's not in there. I thought I put it in there. Huh. I guess I haven't indexed it yet. I'll have to look and figure out where it went. Because I thought it was called Fern. Nope, not called Fern. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, y'all. <laughs> I'll find the name and I'll let y'all know after the stream is over. Okay, look, that's kind of cute, isn't it? Using the little pieces. So you get a little pop of that color on there. So those of you that really like that vintage look, you can still do that. And I like the variety of color that I've used. All right, I think that can go in there. All right, I think now I'm ready to start um, building the journal. I might decorate another page, but let's look at it. Yeah, it's big. All right. All right. So I'm just going to move some stuff over here. This is going to go in there. So this is notebook paper. Notebook paper, notebook paper. Okay. Fancy page. Okay. So what I'm doing is I am sorting out the pages here a little bit. I think I want that one first. And put these here. Do I want that in the center? Nope, that should be the center. So this will be the last page. Okay. So we got three of those. We got three of these. And we have seven of these. So let's look at these. So these are the pages that come part of the kit. And I just printed them, uh, putting one and then two and then three and then four. Um, she has them numbered, but you don't have to print them that way. I just love the colors that we have here. This was just bright, beautiful colors in this kit. And that's why I thought, you know, the little pages we made to go with it are just kind of fun. Okay? <laughs> it's time for me to do the raffle. Oh, my goodness. And this is the cover. All right. I'm going to do the raffle. Now, this is the gift 
that Carrie will be shipping out to you, okay? Um, so whoever the winner is, make sure that you connect with me so I can get your address to Carrie, unless you're friends with Carrie already, and that's easy to do. All right, so let's do the raffle. Raffle. Go potty. <laughs> it's okay, Carrie. You can go potty. <laughs> All right. Join the raffle. <sighs> Join the raffle. Do you like what I've done so far as far as the pages are pretty? And we're going to put our pages together that we made today. Love the cover. Isn't it gorgeous? That's the cover. Or it could be one of the pages, but that's the cover. And this is what I chose for the inside cover. I just like the color. I like that this repeated. So that's why I chose it for the inside cover. All right. I still see people entering the raffle. And now there's a boss fight. <laughs> Enter the raffle. All righty. I think one, two, yeah, I'm going to do one more free raffle. Thank you so much, Robin. Okay, we're going to do the raffle now. Get, pick the winner. Deborah Vick. I have Deborah's address. You won Carrie's goodies. I don't remember what it was for sure. Yay! <laughs> Congratulations, Deborah. All right, so I'm going to do one more. Oh, here's what I'm going to do. This is going to be a Beeline Design rubber stamp. That's going to be the stamp. So I'm going to reset it. And it's going to be for the uh, Romantic Swirl Stamp. And that's our next giveaway, okay? Um, let's pick a winner in 10 minutes. And then, or less, maybe. And we'll start the uh, raffle for the journal, okay? Yay! Congratulations. No, I, I have your address, Deborah. I'll get it to Carrie so she can ship it to you. We gotcha. You're very welcome. All right, enter the raffle. And that's going to be for the stamp. And I'm going to start putting this together. So I've got that over here. All right, so this is going to be my cover. So I'm going to take one of these pages. And let's do, I'm going to mix them up just a little bit. One of these pages. I'm going to go back over here because I have extras of these. And then I'm going to get this page. And then I'm going to go here. So now can you see how putting this together that we're getting it to where it's evenly distributed that you get to see a lot of neat images throughout the journal I don't know I just it has I have fun doing this and I may have to remake a page or find a spot for a page here but I think yeah I may go in and put another page in here I've got one left over Oh, yeah, I like that in the center. So let's see here. What do I want to do? Go in there. Well, I pretty much did every other page, so I think we're going to put it up here. Deborah, that's been going 
around, I've had several of my friends say that their accounts have been compromised. That sucks. I, uh, in fact, someone was trying to pay me through Facebook payments or something. And you have to have a debit card to receive the payment. And I don't have a debit card. We don't use a debit card. We have only credit cards because we had seen so many times where people have had their bank account compromised because they were using their debit card to pay for everything. So I don't use a debit card. We use a credit card if I have to pay for something like that. And I'm thankful that we're with Capital One for one of our cards that if there is any any indication of fraud they shut it down and I have a new card within 24 hours so I'm very blessed that we have that all right so all I'm doing is a three hole pamphlet stitch I've stacked all the pages together and I've got a template here that's the same height as my journal so all I'm going to do is go right through the spine of the journal all the way down. I'm using a Tim Holtz craft pick. And the holes, I have them spaced pretty much one dead center and about an inch, or maybe an inch and a quarter from the top and the bottom. And I made my template just a piece of paper that's the same height as my journal. And if you have questions, put in all caps. I'll be glad to answer your questions as well. One, two, three. So I'm just cutting three times the length or height of this journal out of wax linen thread. Uh, and I have the bookbinders needles in my shop. And I wondered, those of you that have a subscription box with me, do you want a bookbinders needle? Oh, thank you, Marie, for your donation. And some... Uh, bookbinders thread in one of the kits. <clears throat> I'd love to know your thoughts on that. Um, thank you so much for your donation, Marie. And thank you, TLC something, a journey, a journal journey. I don't think I see that, saw that earlier. So thank you for your donation. All righty. Yeah, it's smart to keep track of it. I think what happens is a lot of people don't, aren't as super diligent about their accounts. And so that's why the bad guys are hoping that you don't pay attention and they will abscond with a huge amount before you ever find out about it. That just sucks. It's bad enough we get all the stupid ads and phone calls. We... We're here to help you reduce your debt. No, you're not. You're trying to steal all my information so you can put me in further <laughs> debt. <laughs> yes, yes, Giovanna, I am so sorry. Um, Henry gave that to me and I set it down. Uh, I think it's right here. Is it? I hope it is. Is that it? Here it is. Yes, yes. Okay, so um, I got a card from Giovanna. She won another one of my journals. And she sent this little thank you note. Dear Linda, thank you for the beautiful bee journal. So blessed to have found you in your live streams. Uh, love you lots, Giovanna. And look at this little honey jar. I don't know if she fussy cut the little flowers or not, but they're, they're fussy cut looked to me. And it has a shape here. And it, it was a uh, pocket. I don't know if you can see probably can't see because my fat fingers in the way okay maybe I would do it that way there's a pocket there and she sent me money for that journal that she won and that's so sweet of her I was like oh that's so sweet and I set it here on the desk and I moved it <laughs> 
So thank you, thank you, thank you, Giovanna. Thank you so very much. Um, Cindy, we, I, I, I'm welcome, welcome, welcome. We have what's called uh, chat games. So when you see someone say the arena is now open, it costs you 10 junk bucks to enter the game and then you can win more junk bucks. And you're probably going, what the heck are junk bucks? <laughs> well, those are points that you earn while watching me live. And if you make donations while you're chatting or while you're winning the games, and when you get to 2000 and junk bucks you get a ten dollar off coupon in fact today i've already had robin giovanna and rita redeem their two thousand points to get a ten dollar off coupon to my shop so does that help <laughs> thank you so much giovanna all right so we're buying this i've already cut the strings off if i see it yes i have my punch here but I think I'm going to do something different I'm just going to make little flags why not this might be kind of cute okay so here's what I do I'm going to I'm going to go this way yes because I'm going to cut out the centers and it's going to look like a little flag is flying here that's my thought anyway so I'm just putting some glue on this piece of paper I'm going to take the string here and put that in the little flag we're gonna pretend like this is a, a garden prayer flag and that is what we're putting in the center of our jar oh and it happens to match this piece how funny and oh, I've got a different one. This will be good. So I'll do this one. It's just a one inch strip of paper. And I'm just going to go into the bottom here and trim out a triangle. Try to trim that straighter. And then put some glue in here. And lay the string in. Okay. That's cute. I like it. Junky Joe is evil. <laughs> Hi, Cindy, and welcome. Uh, you're very welcome. Uh, sorry, I didn't say that earlier. I was trying, I was in another thought process and gotcha. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, so here we are. Let's go through the journal and I'm going to add any other embellishments that I see that I want to add. I'll go kind of through it really slow. I think, um, Okay, I think we're going to go ahead. I'm going to get off here early today, I think. <laughs> um, I'm going to just throw that out there. Oh, I love the way this looks. It's really quite pretty. And I didn't really want to go overly and bored with embellishing it, but I think I'm liking it. Um, so let's go ahead and do the giveaway for the rubber stamp. And I'm going to start the giveaway for the journal, okay? How's that sound? So let's do... Oh, so glad to have you here, Cindy. So glad. So we're doing the raffle. This is free. Just type exclamation point raffle. I'm giving away a rubber stamp to someone. So thank you so much for being here. So much for watching. And this is my way of doing that is giving away a item. So go ahead and type exclamation point raffle. Thank you, Ada. Thank you so very much. Junkie Joe is very ill. <laughs> yeah, join the raffle. All right, so I'm going to kind of flip through this and see where I need to add something. Okay, so there's only, there's a little bit right there. <clears throat> what else do we got? Oh, I've got some other butterflies. 
why don't we do something crazy like add a different color butterfly over here? Oh, thank you, Sandra, for your donation. Thank you so much. If you want to have a chance to win the journal that I have here, you can make a donation of any dollar amount. You can use the Super Chat or you can use the um, Streamlabs. I like that. Do you like that? Does it look cool? Especially with that little bit of green back here. Okay. Let me flip this over. We put journal cards in here that we stamped. Let me see if there's anything. Maybe we put this one in here too. Yeah. Don't go crazy. <laughs> Don't go crazy. You liking it? I like it. I like the way it's turning out. Oh, we've got pockets here. Do I have any journal cards left? I've got this. I've got another one of these tags. So let's put that right there. You love it? Yay! You put your kitty stickers in it when you get it. You can have them playing and all the garden stuff. For sure. Okay, I think we're going to need to make some more journal cards. Maybe. Maybe. I'm looking. I might want to put something there. All right, we're getting ready to do the last free raffle. I'm liking it. Yeah, I think maybe we should put something there. I don't know. This one went here. <clears throat> I don't know if I want to do that or maybe something like this. No, I don't like it. I'm not feeling it. Now this I can feel. That I can do. Okay, we'll put that there. Okay. Kitty stickers! Alright, y'all ready for me to do the raffle? Alright, let's do that raffle. Let's get started. <laughs> That's we're doing a boss fight. You're going to break Junkie Joe because a million people are going to join the boss fight. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Giveaway! We're going to pick a winner. Where's my notepad? There it is. Pick the winner of the stamp. And it is... Deborah Vick. Well, congratulations, Deborah. That's twice. Right. So this has happened now three times in a row where one person has won twice. That's crazy. Um, let's see. This is Romantic Swirl. All right. So now it's going to be the journal. So those of you that have donated, you can now enter the raffle. And it is for the Grand Ma, oops, Ma's Garden Journal. And if you haven't donated but you want a chance to win it, just make a donation, any dollar amount, and you can enter by typing exclamation point raffle. All right, so Deborah, let's see, here we go. Cynthia Dossett, Fluke Feline. Family, which is Margie, Sherry, Robin, Daily Gotcha Wolf, which is Barbara, Carrie Ann, Kathy, Mary, Christy, Lori, Christy again, thank you, Christy, Paper Puddles, who's is Carrie, Christy again, thank you, Christy Clover, Amanda Dawn, Kim Greenleaf, Mariana, Ada, TLC something, a journal journey, Maria, and Sandra L. So thank you so much for your donations. Do remember that if you have made a donation today or if you won a page, make sure you go and check out your uh, account at my website and contact me 
through the website if you have questions or if you need to get me some information if you have an order that you have a question about use the contact me because that way I get it because I've had a couple people that's been messaging me through Facebook and apparently I've not been getting those messages thank you Cindy enter the raffle now that you've donated all right I think I'm gonna put this guy across the bottom here so that we can put a journal card behind it um, I'm gonna go ahead and just put it right on the edge as far as I can and I've got some more five by seven craft colored cards so I think what I'll do is I'll fold it in half and let's put some distress ink on it <clears throat> Now is the time to enter the raffle. Enter the raffle for Grandma's garden. I like the way it's come together. I did. I try not to think a lot about this one. I was just trying to let it just come together. Like, you know, this is pasted on here, so I'm going to do that. And so you're going to have two, so maybe this should go over there. But I think I need something else in the background. So where's the fern stamp? Fern, where'd you go? Hey, fern. Seriously, where did it go? It was just here. Oh. <laughs> I found it. Oh, my goodness. All right. So even though you don't see ferns around sunflowers, I don't care. I'm mixing this bouquet. <laughs> oh, I'm mixing up this bouquet. Let's, let's do it that way. There we go. Neat. See how that? I gotta remember what the name of this stamp is, y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go through every single stamp. Maybe Beverly, when she gets home, she'll remind me. Oh, see now, look at that. And do check out Calico Collage. Get her kit, Grandma's Garden. And if you buy more than one thing, she usually has coupon codes. So you just got to look in the actual description. Oh, I like it. Does that look good? You still get the birdie on the page. You get these added elements there. Floral arrangement. <laughs> yeah, it's called a floral arrangement. Exactly. <laughs> oh, Deborah. And you should because it sounds like you need to buy a lottery ticket, lady. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, I think we need another journal card, maybe or two. So let's look at this. You love my flowers? Thank you. See, and now this is just by happenstance how this came together. I stamped that lace on this side. This is a pink page, and it just happens to fall next to the page, and it just kind of like fades together. I mean, it just happens. I don't know. I got really lucky in this journal today. It just kind of fell together. I, yeah, that's a tuck spot. So let's put something there. I've got one of these journal cards. What if we spray that? What color? Teal or the green? Or maybe even yellow. Maybe that's what it should be. Let's put sunflower or, or a sunny yellow on here. So I'm just going to lay this on the side. I'm going to do more than one. I may use it somewhere else. I may do it for something else. But for today... And we're going to use the woven basket again because it's going to give a different effect because of the color that we're using. So I've got the yellow that's in the punked out steam kit. And I have these in my shop. So if you didn't get it with your subscription box, but you want it, you can still get it. I think I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of the green if I can find it again. Oh, here it is. 
Not a lot, just a tiny amount. I'm going to get another sheet of paper. This will be my mop-up that I can use later on. And like I said, I usually go ahead and spray the back just so that it's already sprayed. So when I need a mop-up page, I've got one. Oh, I'm running out of flat surfaces, y'all. And then look here. We got these neat cards. And one of those can go right there. Let's put some distress ink. We're going to ink again. All right. Time to donate if you haven't. I'm almost finished with this journal. I'm going to get out of here early. You like how I did that? Isn't that easy, though? Mopo pages. Where's Angelica? She must be busy or asleep. Let's go ahead and put this little guy on the corner here. So it adds a little decoration to that little page that we added. Yep, just like that. Boom, you have a journal card. Isn't that cool? I don't know how well it's going to stay there, but... <laughs> I like it. Alrighty. Well, anything else you want me to do to the journal that you saw? Because really, I, I don't want to put any more in it. I think it's done. Don't you think it's done? Got me to make some more cards? <clears throat> okay, thanks, Christy. I know I have it. I just got to figure out where it is. It must be a different name. And I, I may not have got it uh, publicized or something, but I'll ask uh, Beverly and then it'll all come together and be like, oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah, I th I'm thinking it's not there, Sandra. Christ Christy said the same thing, so I must not have it visible. Or I just didn't get it done and I just thought I did. Because, you know, I don't have anything else to do, y'all. <laughs> I now have 175 uh, rubber stamp products in my shop. I'm getting ready to list the yellow kit. I have the orange, red, royal peacock, daydreaming. I still have punked out steam in my shop. I have the printed kit for... Um, Twittering gems, flittering gems, flittering gems is still in my shop. And the bee kit, the beekeeper's kit, I have those as printed kits in my shop now. <laughs> it's perfect. Do you like it? I just need your address, Ada. <laughs> oh, dear. I like the way that looks. Just the colors. I don't know. Norella and I fit together really well, I think. Because I created all of this side, except for this piece, to go. But I think by putting that on there, it helps blend it and pull it together. Yeah, the lace stamp is a great hit. I've been saving it. So I'm glad I brought it out today. I love the lace on here. The little flags. That was just, I thought, hey, why not? Why not try that? Make little flags. So you don't have to have fancy paper punches. It's a beeline design. It's beeline design. When I show you the red rubber stamps, when they're red rubber, those are beeline designs. Oh, something on the front, a word or something. Okay. How about... Oh, wait. Oh, my nose. Let your spirit soar. Speak kind words and receive kind echoes. 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 Um, remember. Remember. I don't remember what that one is. I have to. I have to ink it. <laughs> uh. 
what does this one say? Remember, be who you are. That would be good on the front cover, don't you think? Remember, be who you are. What did you want to say? Oh, yes, I've got to sign it. Did I miss? Like Robin? <laughs> Cynthia's journal. <laughs> yeah, I, I'll get it. I'll get it sorted. I apologize. Here I go showing that fern, and I didn't have it done in my shop. All right, we're gonna ink this bad boy up. I'm testing it a couple of times. Cat journal. Oh my goodness. Okay, remember, be who you are. All right, we're going to, last call, if you want in on this journal. Where do I want to put that? Right there. Oh, I like that. <clears throat> remember, be who you are. That's on the cover. How's that? All right, and I'll sign it. And then uh, we're going to be drawing for it here in just a moment. Everybody get in. Let's see, let's put it. All right. I signed it. I like it a lot. It's just pretty. I like the colors. The lace, I really like that. <clears throat> All right, so I will be back on Monday. Everybody get in on the raffle. I'll be back on Monday with journal making i like the way that came out too um with the splatters uh we'll be making the youthful yellow kit <clears throat> yeah youthful yellow thursday we'll be doing some more mixed media um i haven't decided yet which kind of mixed media i'm going to do y'all seem to like what i did last thursday i made a journal um, out of mixed media stuff. Uh, I had kind of pre-made some of it. So maybe we'll do some more of that where I show you how to use some of these mixed media pages that we've created. Um, do you want me to show you more of this kind of technique? Well, yeah, lots of pink in this journal. Yeah, your cat stickers will love the birdies. For sure. I think there's still plenty of room for someone else to, uh, to work with this and add your touches to it. I agree. Deborah won the stamps. Yep. Yep. All righty. Well, I'm going to do the last drawing. <clears throat> gesso. I, I can. I don't know. I don't use gesso that much, Julie. <laughs> I've not really, I don't really like the te texture on the paper. It's okay if I'm going to use the gelatos on top of it and then I scan it, <laughs> you know, and alter it. Um, but I don't like the texture, so I'd rather use acrylic paint, uh, craft paint. I also have a tutorial that'll come out tomorrow that was part of the junk journal camp retreat. So I hope y'all will watch that. I hope you enjoy it. <clears throat> um, what else? I don't know. I, I, we're working on the next subscription box already. And we've kind of picked the color scheme. I'm waiting on Norella to do the first little thing of images. And or I've got to get her a stencil design or two. But it's going to be sewing. So... Yeah, you already have one planned for the yellow, don't you, uh, Carrie? All right, well, we're going to do the drawing now for the giveaway of this journal and see who wins. How does that sound? So we've got Sherry, Kim, Carrie, Paper Puddles, Manda, TLC something. I don't know who you are. I need to get your name connected in my brain. Uh, Marie, Maria, Mariana, um, Carrie Ann, Mary, Christy, Lisa, Robin, Margie or Faluke, uh, Sandra, Kathy Lake, Cynthia, Cindy, Christy Clover, Lori Merchant, and Ada Belfour. So thank you all for your donation. Let's draw. Let's see who's going to win. 
Yeah, she likes yellow just a little bit. Uh. Raffle time! Yeah, Thursday. Sorry. Monday will be the yellow kit. Thursday will be mixed media. It is Monday all day here for me. I'm not with it. <laughs> I think I need to take a nap. <laughs> My brain is not engaging. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. It's time. Did y'all enter the raffle? I'm going to give you a couple more seconds. <laughs> Left-handed crafters already saying congrats to the winner. Did y'all like this? Tell me what you like about that. Yeah, I don't like, you don't, you're with me, Carrie. You don't like the texture of gesso. It just, it just feels icky. I don't want my, I feel like my fingers on a chalkboard when I touch gesso. So, that's what I feel. Naps rock. I agree. I'm going to go put up my hammock. <laughs> yes, lots of new sewing theme stamps. Yes, I have 24 new stamps I've added to the shop that are sewing theme. 24, y'all. I can show you some of them. Where are they? Um, no, that's the bird. I also added a bunch of bird ones. <clears throat> oh, I should just get the cardboard. I don't know why I'm doing that. These are stamps in my shop now. That's a sewing set. Measuring tape is a sewing set. And I have a category sewing now. This is like spools of thread. These are like sewing labels. There's some more sewing. Sewing machine. Uh, this is called London Tape. London Measure. This is a uh, DeLong button. This is a pattern chair. So I've got lots of sewing stamps. Yeah. Yeah, there's lots of stamps. Lots of stamps. And I'm adding more. She has 1,500 designs. So, yeah, I just added 24 sewing stamps. All right, let's pick the winner. Easier than learning to sew, for sure. Giveaway. All right, we're going to pick the winner now. Y'all ready? I, I delayed long enough. The winner is... Are you ready? Margie! <laughs> That's great! Yay! Margie won! Sorry, y'all. I should have warned you that I was going to yell if I saw it. <laughs> she has tr been trying to win for a long time. You can add your cat stamps to it. Your cat. Uh... <laughs> That's awesome. Yay. <laughs> get those kitty stamps. Go get those kitty stickers. <laughs> Yay. That's awesome. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Our cat went through the roof. Go get it CPR. <laughs> Yay! I'm so glad. Yay! <laughs> Sorry, left handed crafter. Everybody, hold your ears. <laughs> oh. Yeah, show us what you do. <laughs> I broke your eardrums. Sorry, Christy. <laughs> Yay! Well, y'all, if y'all have questions, let me know what you think, what you want me to do. Um, 
if there are things you're wanting to see. I've got a tutorial coming out tomorrow, another one on Saturday. Those are recorded tutorials that I did for the virtual online camp retreat. I've got, I think, five total uh, tutorials that will be coming out really soon. So I hope you all enjoy those. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to break your eardrums. <laughs> Ooh, sorry. <laughs> I got excited. Yay! <laughs> He's not evil anymore, Margie. <laughs> Y'all, thank you so much. I'll see you Thursday in the live. And uh, check out my tutorials that I have coming up. Let me know what you think of them. And if you have questions or if you're something you want me to do uh, technique-wise, just let me know and I'll see if I can't work it in somehow, okay? Alrighty. Well, I'm going to get off here, I think, and uh, go for a walk outside for a moment. And Henry will be home we'll do some dinner. <clears throat> Congratulations, Margie. That made my day. That'll make Henry happy, too. He's been rooting for you for a while. <laughs> so I'm glad. Yay! <laughs> thank you, Mariana. <laughs> You're welcome, Mary. Y'all, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Oh, yeah. Fire, fern stamp. I gotta find that fern stamp. Bye, everybody. I'm gonna find the end button here, or I'll just keep chatting away. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> made your day too. Yay! <laughs> Thank you for being here, y'all. Uh, y'all have a great night, Ray, whatever it is for you. Go out there and spread some good cheer. Be happy, you know. Even if you're having a bad day, smile because there's someone that's having a worse day than you. And you're above ground and you should, you know, be thankful that you still have an opportunity to do something amazing. So make something art. Make some art. Share it with somebody, all right? Y'all take care. My face hurts from smiling so much. Bye, everybody.